a 20-storey high-rise fire in Milan. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. Sadly, we have another high-rise fire to talk about. This one is in Milan. We had one happen in China just a few days ago and this one here in Milan is, I think it's, it's today or very recent. Let's start by having a look at two clips which are showing us this fire. The first one here, and we'll have a look here. You can just see the extent of the building. The tower is just, it's gone. Look at that. We'll have another clip here at a little bit more distance. We can see here as the road trucks are going past that this is a big, dramatic fire. Let's go through this article. Milan, 20-story high-rise engulfed in flames and residents are evacuated. Hopefully there have been no loss of life. Fire ripped through a 20-story residential building in Milan, northern Italy, leaving rescue workers scrambling to make sure no one had been caught in the flames and thick smoke. The blaze started on the upper floors of the tower on the southern outskirts of the capital in the Lombardy region. The flames then spread to the lower levels, causing thick smoke, the Italian fire services said on their Twitter account. The building houses some 70 families who were being contacted in an effort to make sure no one was missing. We are sure there was time to get out, but until the controls are finished, we cannot be entirely sure, Mayor Giuseppe Sala told reporters on the scene. But we're optimistic because people had time to get out, hopefully. Hopefully. So is this a, a curtain wall going right up here that's just gone? He said about 20 people were evacuated without incident. Mr. Sala said there were no reports of injury or death, but that firefighters were kicking down doors apartment by apartment to make sure there were no victims. Huge plumes of black smoke rose from the reinforced concrete building named the Tor del Mora and was visible for kilometers. The 60-meter tall building, part of a recent development project, was designed to look like the keel of a ship and included an aluminium sail on its roof, which burnt and fell to the street in pieces. Oh, boy. Flames continued to burn inside nearly three hours after a dozen Fire trucks and ambulances responded to the alarm. Unidentified residents told Cor- the Corriere di Sal Serra newspaper that the panels on the facade were supposed to be fire resistant. Plans for the project said it had 16 residential floors plus two underground parking levels. And let's have a look at some images here. We can see. Look at that. You know what? Let's do I have Google Earth on here. Let's bring this up. Let's jump into Google Earth and have a look at this building. So I've, I've gone into the web version of Google Earth. To be quite honest, I've never used this. I always use the professional one. But we have a look here. We can see this is the building right here. And hang on. Am I becoming too boomer to now use it? There we go. You can see this cladding all the way around here. Now, if we look at this, I'm just going to shrink this here. We can see, let's try and get the same same shot. Okay, so this, what we're looking at here, it's this frame. So here's the frame, that's all that's left from this cladding going right up here. And that looks like an aluminium composite. Now let's see if I can go in the street. Will that work? So there it is. Kind of. We're kind of getting the same view here, everyone. Near the Maccas, across the road. Okay, hang on, I misclicked. I missed. So if we search for it, it'll take us here and we can see some more info. and see some of the, the pictures. Well, there you go, the rendering. If this was an aluminium, I mean, yeah, this has to be an aluminium composite panel. I'd bet with the way it's burnt, 
where the fire spread and just looking at the steel frame that's left there, I mean, that, that would be the most effective way to, to clad it and to get that nice quality finish. You know. Now, if we, what I'm talking about when I'm referring to these composite panels, everyone, let's have a look here. Now, these are the type of things, the type of panels. You can get them, you know, it's a sh two sheets of metal with a filler, pretty much a filler. And you can have different fillers inside the panels. And as an architect, you'll specify a material that's fire rated, that, that, that will not burn. But what can happen is alternative materials can be substituted. And when you, if you're looking at it on the outside, how, how can you tell walking past doing a site inspection? You know, they've got all the paperwork. It's all fine. Or it could be a builder saying, oh, I've got this, this product that's exactly the same. It's just cheaper. Look at it. See? But the core is different. And the core is the issue. If we have a look here. I mean, these are different examples. I mean, don't get me wrong. These materials are fantastic. They're useful in certain situations. And you can get ones that, uh, materials with a core that won't burn. And it's great. But this is the issue. So the insulating core, 2 to 5 mils thick, 100% polyethylene. Heat from the firewall conduct quickly to the core through the thin aluminium. Core loses ability to bind, causing the outer skins to deform and delaminate. The core melts and can ignite. So is that what we've seen right up here, up this side of the building, and as per this video? It looks like it. So if we bring up Google here next to it. Where's that shot? That's looking here, isn't it? So is it gone? No, or is it over here? I'm trying to find that. Here. Those windows. Yeah, it could be there. From over here. That's where it looks like. So that's yeah, it's it's gone. It's gone. So guys, what's the solution takeaway or the lesson from this? Well, let me jump on my soapbox. So the solution, it's ensuring the correct material is specified for the correct job. I've looked at many and discussed this many times in other videos. One is having multiple certifiers. One is the risk of design and construct procurement. I, I'm not sure how it's achieved in Italy. Um, just changing how people build and what people accept. It's, it's, gonna, it's going to be challenging. Now, if you have this material in your buildings, don't fret. It's not going to spontaneously burn. It, it just has to be a risk mitigation strategy. But fortunately, it looks like once again, no one has been injured. So that's good. Well, guys, join us tonight on our live stream here on YouTube and Twitch where Rachel and I will discuss uh, fire in high-rise buildings and pretty much go through her part, the more interesting parts of her undergraduate thesis on this very topic. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Let me know. Wait a minute. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. You can use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. <laughs>